Greetings, friends, and welcome to today's Family Altar Audio Devotional. Our scripture reading today comes to us from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. And the quote is by William Mary Branham from the message entitled, God's Chosen Place of Worship. This message was preached on February the 20th, 1965. We hope that you are blessed today as you listen. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now, we took this text out of Deuteronomy. It's a Greek word which... Uh, has a compound meaning, or it means two laws. The Greek word Deuteronomy means two different laws. And that's just what God has, two different laws. And one of them is a law of death, and the other is a law of life. God has two laws. To follow Him and serve Him and worship Him is life. To reject it is death. There's two laws in God. Now, one of those laws was rec- uh, made recognized to the world at Mount Sinai. God gave the law to Moses and Israel, not that the law could help them, but the law only pointed out to them that they were sinners. Until that time, they didn't know what sin was till they had a law. There cannot be a law without a penalty. A law is not a law without penalty. So, therefore, the transgression of the law is sin, and the wages of sin is death. So therefore, until God made them a law, there was no uh, transgression reckoned to them. If there's no law here that says you can't run over 20 miles an hour, then you can run over 20 miles an hour. But when there's a law that says you can't do it, then there's a law and there's a penalty behind it. Now, death, or the law of death, was the commandments given on Mount Sinai, which told man that he was a sinner. And to transgress God's law, he died. But there's no salvation in the law. The, it was only a policeman that could put you in jail. It had nothing to bring you out with. But then he gave another law. That was at Mount Calvary, Amen. where sin was reckoned in Jesus Christ. Amen. And there the penalty was paid, and not with, without law, but by grace you are saved by the grace of God through predestination. Of God's foreknowledge of your being. Now, we see these two laws. Deuteronomy, speaking of two laws, there was two laws. One was the law of death and the other in the law of life. There was also two covenants given to the people. We're going to speak of them in the morning. One of them was given to Adam on condition. If you do this and don't do that. But that law was broken. Adam, Eve broke that in the Garden of Eden. Then God made the second covenant and give that to Abraham, and that law was unconditional. It isn't what you've done or what you will do. He said, I've already done it. That's grace. That's the law of life. God did that for Abraham and his seed after him. That's all of Abraham's seed. As the Bible said, all Israel will be saved. But that don't mean Jews. As Paul said, that Israel which is inward are Israel outward. Outward, as we spoke of the other night, it was Isaac's children by sex. But the law of God was through Christ, which was Abraham's royal seed, that by grace all Israel is saved. That's all that's in Christ is saved. Oh, God's second covenant. But all these things foreshadowed Christ. We trust that you have been blessed by God's word today. The devotional you just heard was derived from Brother Tim Dodd's Family Altar devotional book. If you are interested in a copy of your own, you can visit store.bibleway.org to order your own copy. If you would like to listen to more daily Family Altar audio devotionals and other spiritual message related content that we produce, we invite you to subscribe to the 10,000 Worlds podcast or visit us on YouTube, Facebook, and on our website at 10kworlds.com. That's the number 10, the letter K, and the word worlds.com.
If you feel that this ministry has been a blessing to you and you would like to support us financially to help us deliver more and better content to you in the future, you may easily do so by clicking the Consider Supporting Us link in the description of this episode or visiting our website to learn more. It's okay if you can't support us financially, but would you do us a favor? Pray for us and share this episode with others so that they might be blessed as well. Lastly, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell button so that you get notified when we publish more content like this. Thank you, and God bless you.